pay bonuses are on the way for the country's bankers. We're hearing that the pay cap may be removed. The pay cap that has, of course, brought in when we nationalised several of the banks as we did in the wake of the financial crash. Um, that, the, that the cap may be removed, that bonuses may be returned. What do you make of it, Shane? Uh, I kind of have a new rule now when it comes to politics. If I hear TDs, particularly opposition TDs, jumping up and down saying, this is a kick in the teeth to all hardworking people, I kind of tend to take the opposite view because I just think it's the politics of Kant, it's the politics of hypocrisy, it's the politics of populism. Look, wages and salaries in the financial services sector I think are indecent, I think they're outrageous, I think they're unjustifiable. Uh, but but do you want to give them a bit more? No, that's the world we live in and that's the world banks have to operate in. Like, you know, I, I, I noticed because a lot of people I went to college work in the city in London and they earn huge, huge salaries. I don't think personally it's justifiable, but that is the reality of the world we live in. And you now have a situation where Bank of Ireland, which isn't even owned by the state anymore, uh, and and AIB and Permanent TSB, which are owned by the state, are operating with one hand behind their back. And and we see what happens. Like we see, we saw them uh, Bank of Ireland lose its chief executive uh, last year or earlier this year, going to a a much lesser position and earning a multiple of, of the salary that she was on. You have a ludicrous situation whereby one of the people linked with that salary was the head of Davy Stockbrokers, owned by Bank of Ireland. But in order for him to take the top job at Bank of Ireland, he would have had to take a significant pay cut. I just think it's, it's, it's silly. Uh, it's it's uh, the politics of populism. Uh, and I think it probably ha- it needs to change. I think this is one of the times when that, I suppose adage doesn't hold true um, I, I know I know what, we, what you know what, what the justification for this is oh you pay peanuts you get monkeys except for this in the financial crash we didn't have a cap on bankers pay we didn't have a cap on bonuses and the bankers we had did not serve us well we ended up in a situation where loose credit and poor regulation led us led us by the nose into a situation where we have billions added to our national debt that ourselves and our children and our grandchildren oh, will still pay. Right, okay, no, 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 on, no, 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 Shane, no, Jesus, hang Kira, on, I, would, would you, you please stop? I, I let I let you give your, your oh, down with, 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 with the opposition that, that politicians Future nonsense. generations are going to yeah, be painful. Yeah, I actually yeah, do object to it. Horlicks, I actually we know do that. object it happened, to it. It happened 15 years ago, by the way. And I don't believe for a minute, I don't believe for a minute. So it's good 15 years ago, it's good for Can you let me finish what I'm speaking? Oh, next, tell you what, at eight o'clock when you start talking, I'll jump all over what you say immediately and well, we'll see how on. you we'll see it's how you enjoy it ago. let me finish Shane Coleman and <laughs> oh, I mean God. it here's the thing we did pay them lots of money we didn't get value for that money and if I believed we would get value for that money maybe I'd change my mind but I am not I am not convinced remotely that paying them through the nose that particular industry gets us anywhere and I agree with opposition politicians they're not always wrong Shane and to take that position just means you're not thinking about it enough